hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to take you through a day in the life of off season so as you guys know I'm getting ready for a um, transitioning federations over to the IFBB in season B this year for my first bikini competition which I'm really excited Obviously, I have done a bikini competition before with a different federation, but this will be my first with the IFBB, which I am so excited for and working so hard. So today, I'm going to take you through what I eat in a day. I have my high, high, high calorie day today because it is a lower body day. So I am on 500 grams of carbohydrates. Nick and I do have my protein set quite high um, because I am on quite high of calories. Um, so we're just seeing how that is working. My physique is responding really, really well. So we're really, really happy with that. Um, so yeah, today I'll take you through what I eat in a day, my lower body day workout and um, anything else I do in the day. So I've already got up nice and early. I've done my client check-in. So I get up really early in the morning to do those um, just because I work better first thing in the morning. So I like to give my clients my best possible selves, my best possible self. I've done their form analysis, their check-ins and nutrition updates. And when I get home from the gym, I'll update any programs that need doing. So I'm about to take Bungie for a walk and then I'll be back to have my first meal, which is my pre-workout meal and a lot of bagels. So I'll see you then. Are you ready for your walk? Are you ready for the puppy walk? <laughs> so back from our walk, I've just made breakfast. So I am not quite set up fantastically for my vlogging yet. So I couldn't set my camera up anywhere without cutting off my head. Um, so I don't have the footage of myself making the breakfast, but I will show you what I've got, what I've made. Um, my scale just ran out of battery, so that's pretty frustrating. However, because I have been tracking for such a long time, I can estimate the, or look at look at the serving sizes and estimate what I needed. So I had to estimate my jam and my, um, my proactive light butter. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, when you know how to track and you put in the time to learn, you do earn that skill of being able to look at food and estimate how much is. All right, so I have here 140 grams of egg whites with some chutney, 100 grams of watermelon, and then I've got two bagels with 10 grams of proactive light. Now this is the best light butter that you can get in Australia. Um, Nick and I talk about this all the time, how we are so jealous that like the UK and the US have amazing options for, you know, pretty much dieting and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you can see here on the macros, it's not too bad. So you've got four grams of fat per 10 grams, and that's just what I've popped on there, and strawberry jam. All right, guys, this is my morning supplements that I take. I've got fish oil, magnesium, zinc, vitamin D3. Um, there is also a vitamin C in there, like a, um, a fizzy one, and that's just my reds, vitamin C, and glutamine. This is my intra workout. I just wanted to show you. I have 20 grams of carbs. I have Axe and Sledge, The Grind, EAAs and BCAs and creatine. I really like this particular blend of essential aminos. Um, this flavor here, Unicorn Blood, is pretty nice. I do prefer it in the Shark Bite flavor. Um, but this one's a really good blend of EAAs, BCAs, and it also um, is really good to hold the pump as well. Um, I'm not the supplement expert. That is Nick. Um, but I listened to my coach. He says it's good, so I take it. Um, I also do the... Axe and Sledge Hydraulic as a non-stim pre-workout. Um, so this is actually not a pre-workout, it is a pump formula. Um, we really, really, really like this. All right, we're starting off our workout with glute kickbacks. We wanna do this before we get into our main compound movements, before our lower back starts to fatigue. So with this exercise, it is really important to keep a neutral spine. The last thing we want is for our lower back to take over, and that will happen when you do kick back too high. You wanna minimize any momentum from the bottom and ensure that you really focus on that mind-muscle connection. Focus on the squeeze throughout the entire movement and an extra squeeze up the top. Moving in. 
into our barbell hip thrust. So with this one, it's really important not to go too heavy and use too much momentum. We really want to focus on that mind-muscle connection again. Squeezing from the bum hole essentially is what we want to do. Make sure that you have a 90 degree angle with your legs. You keep your chin tucked. You lock your scapulas onto the bench and you work from the ribs down. Make sure that you do reach full hip extension up the top and really focus on that squeeze. Now with the glute push downs, this is a great option when you do not like step ups like myself. With this particular exercise, you want to make sure that you do have a slight torso lean forward. But as you can see, as I do come up, I do not um, bring my knee up too high. I'm trying to minimize the knee flexion that I create and keep the movement in my glute. So we are trying to mimic the step up pattern in reverse, get to a 90 degree angle and keep that shin vertical. We really wanna focus on the glute contraction and the squeeze here. So really make sure that you have that mind-muscle connection with the glute and squeezing through the glute the whole time. We are pushing through the heel and we are thinking of pushing down with the glute. This is a fantastic exercise for the glute that really does minimize um, that stability with the core. All right, now we're moving on to the glute focus back extension. This machine isn't ideal. If you have a 45 degree bench, definitely use that one instead. With this exercise, what we wanna do is make sure that we are squeezing the glutes together to bring us up without flexing our spine. We don't wanna flex our spine coming down or on the way up. We don't want to hyperextend up the top. What we do want to do with this particular exercise is stay within the glutes of active range of motion. So you might not need to get as much ROM as you initially think. It's really important to keep that spine nice and neutral and not hyperextend up the top. If you are having struck trouble with a neutral spine, you can start by rounding your upper back before moving on to a neutral spine as well. This can help teach you the movement pattern and help to stop you hyperextending up the top of that particular exercise. All right, we are on to the Smith Machine Beast Dance Hip Thrust right now. The Smith Machine was taken this particular day and my gym unfortunately does not have a glute drive or any glute focus machines whatsoever. So here I am doing them on the lion leg curl, which is a great option if your gym does not have a glute drive machine or any hip thrust machine whatsoever. So essentially the same cues here. We we want to keep our chin tucked, eyes forward, working from the top of the rib cage down. With the B stance as well, you can see my feet, I am working off one driving leg and using the other one to stabilize myself. So this is a really great exercise. I do keep it in a shortened range of motion here as well and just really, really, really focus on the squeeze and contraction. With the hip thrust, we are in that shortened range of motion because this is where the glutes are more dominant and we do recruit more glutes, which is what I want right now prepping for the IFBB, is to really bring up my glutes. Moving on to the lying hamstring curl with this one, make sure that your hips are not going to lift up off the bench. I am very fatigued here. This is my last set of a very long workout and I definitely could have focused a little bit more on that. So that's my workout for the day, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below and comment below which other workouts you would like to see or if you would just like more form cues and exercise tutorials. So I've got our post-workout meal, chicken thigh seasoned with my bean salad, tzatziki dip, and basmati. Super yum. Really nice combination of flavors. We've got a rainy, rainy afternoon. So we're back from the gym. I had my post-workout meal in the car on the way home. Um, now I'm just about to make my fourth meal of the day. Sorry, third meal of the day. So even though my calories are really high right now, I only want to really be eating about four times a day. So my secret weapon is my smoothie. Um, this is really versatile because you can make it into oats, like protein oats as well, if it's a little bit cold and you don't feel like having a smoothie. So I really like to have this tracked in my day. And then, you know, if I am feeling too full, I have a smoothie. Or if it's hot, I have a smoothie. Or if it's a cold day and I'm a little bit hungrier, I can have oats. Okay, so here is my protein smoothie with oats. It tastes really good. Just tastes like a shake. Um, you don't really feel like the oats in there as such. Um, so yeah, big fan of that. It does help with me in my surplus, with me, it does help me. It assists me with my surplus right now because I have so much food coming in. 
Like I was saying, I do like to spread my meals, sorry, spread my protein evenly throughout the day, but I do really only want to be eating about four times a day. I just find it much more convenient. Um, so if I can pack a heap of carbs into each meal, um, it works really, really well for me. I do keep my first three meals of the day quite low in fat. Um, obviously, I have my peri-workout nutrition, so my pre and post-workout, low fat, high carbohydrate, as I said. And then my next meal of the day, it's still pretty low fat. Sometimes depending on, um, you know, what I'm doing for the day, I will chuck a little bit of peanut butter in there as well. Um, at the moment, most of my fat actually does come from my dinner. I have a good, I think, 30 grams or so of fat in my dinner. So my first three meals of the day are quite low. Um, so but with that, go and drink my smoothie and I will show you my dinner though before I sign off the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, comment below what you would like to see on my channel and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. So I got dinner, last meal of the day. I've got some capsicum, tomato, red onion dressing and tzatziki as a little like salsa salad steak with chutney and garlic dinner roll so i spray my olive oil on there just the olive oil spray and then i pop some herbs and garlic